Joining me right now with more Republican Congressman Doug Collins of Georgia. Congressman, good to have you here. Well, it's always good to be with you. How are you today? I'm very good. So what right. do you think of this whole SALT thing, state and local taxes? Uh, you know, you get a lot of people out there that would like to be able to preserve some of that. Do well, they have any shot? Well, I think what you're going to do is we go into this, and I think between the, the, the House, we've always known this is an issue that which, which we need to balance, and especially to make up for states that, frankly, abuse, I, I just frankly abuse their citizenry. When you look at high tax state that's continually to add tax on top of tax, this is something that I think is something I think maybe you and I have even talked about. This is going to bring to highlight those states and how they're using their own uh, citizenry to fund their governments, and while at the same point in time, we're looking to give money back to people. So I think it's something we'll definitely have to come to grips on, because in the House, of course, we have more more members from those states, and those are things that we need to, to make our commitment to tax reform to the American people and tax cuts. So we're going to be looking at that. Well, look, I, I realize I, I'm losing the battle on this one. Uh, it, it may have something to do with the fact that I live in New York, <laughs> and so I pay both city and state as well as federal. Uh, and I guess, you know, but 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 thinking about it, even you know, from where for from where you sit and your constituents, and even states like. Texas or Florida that have no income taxes as well. I mean, they they, they, they are going to be suffering in that they're not going to be able to deduct as much in the way of property taxes. Does that concern you? Well, I think let's also remember how many people actually itemize to actually take care of that deduction. And I think that's something that's missed here a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Roughly about 30% of the people right now actually itemize, or 40%, depending on where you may be. And of course, it'll be higher in some maybe zip codes than others. But there's not, uh, and to itemize, yeah, that's the only way you could actually take that deduction. After we've increased the standard deduction, after we've done those things that, that are already put into the bill, that actual itemization number mm -hmm. drops below 10%. Mm -hmm. So is it still pr predicated in some areas, just like you? And I mean, what your system is is valid and I, and I understand that. That's why we're going to have this negotiation because at the end of the day, we got to not lose sight of the of the big picture while we're focused on this on this. Yeah, that things. said, I, I hear you. I don't think it's fair. I mean, for, for the federal government in some way, shape, or form to be effectively subsidizing these high tax states, I agree. They should get their house in order. Yeah. They they need to figure out how to <laughs> actually run a state without you know squandering people's money as they do in places like New York. Uh, but meanwhile. Congressman, you got a new Quinnipiac poll out that's showing 53% of voters. They disapprove of this Republican tax reform plan. Why do you think so many don't like it? I think that for the most part, I think there's, this is something we've seen everything going on this year. And I think what we're especially seeing in the tax plan is you've had uh, people who go in front of cameras, they send out emails saying, oh, this is just for the wealthy, this is not for you. And what they've really not done is actually seen that what the entire purpose of this uh, tax reform is looking like. Tax mm -hmm. cuts for them, more money in their pockets. Businesses are able to uh, not only uh, add capital expenses to their business, add product, add manufacturing, but also to add people. I think at the end of the thing, there's always this tendency at the first to say, I'm scared of what may go ahead. There's always that. that in well, and there's a tendency to, to criticize, right? I mean, I, I include myself yeah. in that group because I've poured through this and I say, well, you know, they could have done that. And by the way, you could have done a lot more. I'll even say that on the private equity front, but we'll leave that for another day. Um, there, there are things that could be done and, and you want it all, right? And so yeah. maybe that's part of what's going into this polling. In other words, a lot of yeah. Republicans thought it would be perfect, but it's hard to make it perfect, Congressman. Oh, and I, there's a, something I say all the time. I, I like to do tours up here, and I go back home, and, and everybody asks about how you vote. And I tell them, I pull out my voting card, and I said, look, I have. Th when it comes to a vote, I have yes, no, and present. If I had perfect, I'd vote perfect every time. <laughs> it, we just don't have perfect every time. But what we do have is, I'll say you this, and I've said, we've got energy independence, we've got the best workers, we've got the best initiative, we've got the best intellectual property. Now let's take the worst tax system in the world and make it better. When we do that, can you imagine what we can unleash in our country? That's what the president's looking for. That's what we in Congress are looking for. That's what I want to focus on and say as we move forward. And somebody in our conference even said this, this is a tax reform bill to get us started. Are there things that we can work on later? You better believe it. But holding ourselves to a perfect standard, I'd rather see something move forward, which is going to be very, very good for this country, as the president said and others. And that will get us started on a path to 3 and 4 percent growth. And that takes a lot of issues off the table. Congressman Collins, thank you so much. We appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> it's great good to be to with see you. you. Take care. All right. Uh,